Yes, what is your question? I didn't hear that. You said you've written me a question. Um, I've written you an email this, this, this afternoon already, but I can ask you the question now. Um, my sister, she's in Germany. Hold on a second. I think the best thing to do is to switch your photographs, your camera off. Mute your camera and then the line might be better. I think sometimes it slows the line down. Yeah, so I will keep my on so you can see that I'm real. Let's try again, Ute. You said your sister who lives right. in Germany. Um, yeah, and she wants to join our 100 days. Um, I nice. know I can uh, add her to my downline to receive the AIM goods from England. But yes. uh, how do we do it with, with the items you supply? Um, you don't really need the, well, we can post, you mentioned, it would be great if she could get them, but it would just be a matter of emailing us, going onto our online store, maryanns.com, and then she orders whatever she wants from there, and it gets posted or couriered. She chooses how she would like that sent. The postal services are not okay. working until we're in lockdown one, apparently, so it's got to go with the courier. So we'll have to see what yeah. the cost is once we've done that. We are busy talking to people about exporting our products to other countries, so we've got a meeting tomorrow about that. But at the moment, we've mm -hmm. had people just ordering online and using a courier company. From I've got orders from Israel and orders from the UK. We send stuff, states, Australia. So it normally goes. It's just with lockdown, it's been a little bit more complicated than it normally would be, but it should be should be a lot easier now. Yeah, it's okay. Now that's fine. Things with Korea already as well during lockdown. Yeah. yeah, so she gets a copy of the book on P with PDF straight away. So that's, she doesn't have to order that unless she wants the hard cup copy, then she'd have to do it. And then the salts and mm -hmm. any other, other products if she wants it, she can order that um, online. And then you need to join okay. the loyalty rewards, which is what we're going to speak about tonight. Um, so yeah. my juice. I'm just a bit challenged with that one because I mean, I don't want to order so much in a month. I've I've started ordering from you like two months now, but but I feel I don't need everything you have to offer at once because I've still got so much. So I never get well, to five hundred rand. No, you only order 500 rand in a month. It's not at a time. So if you ordered for 200 rand today, or let's say on the 1st, and then on the 15th, you ordered for another 300 rand. Mm. But I think you need to look at everything that we've got because... I know, just do it in a month. To keep rushes. Pardon? Mm. Sorry, Uta? Mm. I will see. I'm... Uh, it's at the, the moment it was a bit difficult because I, I want to order once a month because of the courier fee obviously as well yeah that everything <laughs> you also can if you need to you can also order products and keep them waiting there until your next order again and put them in the same parcel so that's one of the things that you could do mm. or you could order with other people you might find other people who want to order together with you but let's just see and you can go through mm -hmm. the products you know, it's things like brown rice and peanut butter and gluten-free bread and gluten-free grains and gluten-free carrot cakes and banana bread. And there's so much choice. I mean, the things that you would buy in the supermarket, dishwashing liquid and toilet paper and facial mm. creams that are all natural toothpaste. So their shampoo and conditioners are spectacular, um, but they last forever. You know, they're going to last you six to eight months. Yeah, um, so you just have to go through what is on there and look at it. You know, you might not use poleta, but you do you eat quinoa. You might not have quinoa, but maybe you use, you know, almonds or cashew nuts or things that you, you've got to look at what, what it is that you would use. I mean, it's not, it's just, this is an option. It's not something you have to do. So if you're helping other people um, and they're looking for preservative free dried fruit, for example, then you know at least where they can get it from. Yes. Well, they're looking for nuts that are good quality because you can buy nuts anywhere, but are very often they're rancid. And rancid nuts are very, very difficult for our digestive tract to, to digest efficiently. And rancid fats in nuts are actually carcinogenic. So 
people mm -hmm. are looking for fresh nuts or they're looking for olive oil or they're looking for um, you know vegan butter or frozen meals ready made frozen meals we do lasagna we do all of it gluten free we do um, zucchini lasagna we do pasta lasagna made with a rice rice noodles we do mac and, mac and cheese is a new one that's come on now all vegan of course um, and then we do different that sweets sounds amazing <laughs> Yeah, hamburger patties. So, you know, there's just, if you're buying stuff frozen from a fruit supermarket and you're not sure what's in it and it's got a preservative and it's got a thickening agent, you can buy the healthier version of it online and have it delivered directly to you. And we have a company that mm -hmm. literally takes the frozen stuff, keeps it in a frozen state and delivers it to you. It depends on which shipping, but I mean, some people take the cheapest shipping and it's five days and it gets there, it's still frozen. So, um, and then there's treats like yeah. ice cream and, um, and cheesecake and uh, carob brownies and you know, hot drinks and herb teas, even decaf and normal coffee. We sell organic coffee, coffee grounds, or you can buy the coffee beans and grind them mm -hmm. yourself. So there's just so much choice. Um, you know, when we first started out, there were a couple of yeah. bars in our socks, but now it's an enormous range of products. And if you are buying sweets and treats and you like a couple of chocolates, you know, try the carob bars and see if you like them. At least they don't have caffeine in them. The report came out today. Um, I just want to see who else is all online here. We have seven people. Um, make sure I'm letting everybody in. Um, are you all in here? I see there's seven people. I've got Ulla and Nelly and Laura and Deirdre and Kaliswa and Samantha Crane. Right, so welcome everybody that's here. This is not um, to talk specifically about the AIM products, but it's another source of income that you can benefit from when you are getting people on the 100 days to help and they're looking for preservative free dried fruit or they're looking for, you know, I speak about our toilet paper, which is not bleached with chlorine because chlorine can cause terrible itches down below so it's oxygen bleached and it's made from um, the sugar bagasse which is the waste products from the sugar cane so it's made from something that's completely natural non-toxic and recyclable recycled and then it's also the only toilet paper i know that's completely safe in a septic tank because it doesn't have chlorine destroys friendly bacteria so if you're using toilet paper with chlorine and your chances are with urinary tract infections or candida issues are more likely to happen. But if you put the toilet paper with chlorine bleach in it or even the tissues into a septic tank, then you sterilize the septic tank. Now a septic tank only works. People live, have septic tanks on small holdings like we do. It starts to ferment and smell badly if you sterilize and destroy those friendly bacteria. So it's important that you keep the friendly bacteria in balance. And the only toilet paper that will do that is oxygen bleached toilet paper. Same with the tissues, the same with our serviettes, um, and the same with our wipes. It's all oxygen bleached um, and, as I say, made from uh, the waste products in the sugar industry. Um, and then there's things like our facial creams that have contained essential oils in them, our shampoos, all essential oils are made locally here in the Western Cape for us. We have um, essential oil um, sprays. We've got hand sanitizer like I've got here. I drive around with my own hand san sanitizer. And that way I don't get any eczema on my hands, but my hands are sterilized from about five or six different essential oils. And of course it smells really nice. So the products are there to replace things with preservatives and additive stuff that's been nuts that are answered. I mean, we've got brown rice and red rice and quinoa and millet and polenta and oats that are gluten-free and two kinds of mueslis, our malted carob, herb teas. Um, we've got things like vitamin B12 if people are looking for it, a maca product called Maca and Friends. There's some great products as well that you can aloe products that if you feel you need to drink some aloe juice. Um, and then of course all the books are available. Um, I'm just trying to go through the list. Our peanut butters, we have two types, plain and, and chili that don't have any preservatives in it. All our carob and oat bars, our Turkish delight, carob coated in carob or not with carob on it. Um, our vegetable stock powder, all our herbs and salts. And then we have a full range of herbs and spices like cumin and paprika and mustard seeds, all the stuff that I use in my recipes, and they're completely not irradiated. 
I actually finally found another source that's completely not irradiated. We struggled for a while, and th this is a great supplier that we have now. Um, and then we have all the frozen foods, the hamburger patties, the, well, they're not hamburger, they're burger patties, the vegan butter, um, the chili sauces, the frozen hummus, chili pesto, red pepper mayonnaise, hummus, um, oh my gosh, the gluten-free carrot cake mix, the gluten-free burger mix, the gluten-free bread mix, which just makes a beautiful, spongy, wonderful loaf. It's like eating real bread and you toast it and it tastes like real proper bleb toast, but it's actually gluten-free. And um, we've got gluten-free banana bread mix and gluten-free muffin mix and gluten-free pancake mix and gluten-free wraps we've got gluten-free wraps gluten-free pizza bases and then you've got the mix so you can buy it frozen or you can buy it mixed you can buy the bread rolls frozen or you can buy the mix and make it yourself and basically you're adding the liquid you just add the liquid and you make it the other day i had to retest the carrot cake because we had to adjust one of the ingredients and so i just added olive oil vinegar and uh, water basically all plant milk and then i brought it home to my mother and she just couldn't stop eating and she said who made this and i said i made it mom she said, no, I can't believe it. You made a cake because I haven't made a cake in years other than what we test there when I'm testing products. I said, yes, I made the cake. She said, carried on eating. She said, who made this again? She said, I can't believe you made the cake. Then I'm not, uh, you know, I work with things to make them work, but they taste delicious. And then we have an icing, which you can make at home yourself. It's just cashew nuts, equal quantities and dates, which we blend together and it goes into this beautiful caramel color and you soak it, you just soak the nuts and the cashews and the, and the uh, dates, and then you use this as your icing on your cake. It's got some vanilla in as well. It looks like a caramel icing and it's just got cashews and dates and vanilla. You can make that yourself by buying the dates and the cashews, or you can buy that icing mixture frozen. We even do frozen fruit. I'm trying to think what else we do. Frozen orange juice, um, frozen lemon juice. Gosh, there's so much there. Brownies, did I say brownies? Oh, soups. There's several different kinds of soups. All of it's vegan and gluten-free. Um, we have our apple rings that are dipped in honey, which some people will say are not technically vegan. We have a couple of things that contain honey. Dip them in honey, or there's a version that's dipped in dates and then rolled in almonds and cinnamon. There's some really, really nice snacks. So instead of buying junk snacks when you're craving stuff from your local store, you've got a source of absolutely fully natural products. So it, it's there when somebody's going on the detox program and they want to buy the cashew and date fudge, which is just cashews and dates blended together. It's like a solid version of that icing. So these things like flax crackers as well and tomato wraps and dried tomatoes with chili and dried tomatoes with herb salt on them. So people are looking for those snacks. We incorporate those on the 30 day detox program, which uses about six or seven of the AIM products. It's a great program to build your business and connect with people and help people because people really see change. You see dramatic weight loss. Like we had one guy lose 10 kilos on the 30 days and his wife lost seven kilos on the 30 days. Um, and they're using the AIM products, but they ordered the snacks so that they're not eating rubbish. Because if you're going to go on a detox program, you can't just sit there nibbling on carrot sticks all the time. You've got these very delicious snacks and you can do tomato wraps which is just dried tomatoes, like um, like dried fruit, but it's dried tomatoes and it's rolled up into a wrap. So you unwrap it and put your salad inside and smear it with avocado and chili pesto and you roll it up and you eat that. Um, gosh, there's some really, really great products that we use on the 30-day detox, but they're also products that people will order on the 100 days to health. And it's, it's part of the program, like try the malted carob, which is like a cross between Horlicks and hot chocolate, but it's got no caffeine and no cane sugar in it, so it's not going to upset your blood sugar. Um, so it's healthy and it's good for you, and kids can have it, and it helps you sleep well at night because it's got barley malt extract in it, and that is known to help you relax. It's very high in magnesium. Um, so there's some, as I say, some amazingly wonderful products. Um, we also have some of the plant milks that we sell as well. Different, um, the different kinds come out from time to time, but we always choose the purest ones that don't have all the rubbish in them. We do corn chips, organic corn chips. Um, what else is there? Oh, we do the most amazing vegan pies, spinach pies, mushroom pies, mushroom stroganoff we call them, and then a curried veg pie. Very delicious stuff. So there's lots for you to choose from. I mean, if you prefer to make your own stuff at home, go for it, it's wonderful. But it's a great way to help other people. 
Um, we have a regular customer who is in the Mishlonga Rocks, for example. Yesterday, she orders for her whole family. Very comfortably well off. She has two sons and a husband. They live in Mishlonga. And she just every month keeps ordering more and more because she's trying the frozen things. You know, people are nervous of new frozen things on the market. So she's tried the one, the bolognese mix, which you can put on the potato or pasta or wrap it in a pancake or put it in your wrap or on top of your pizza base. Um, so she tried this and then she's trying. So each month her order grows. And yesterday her order came in and six and a half thousand rand order. Now, if that was somebody in your downline, you are going to earn 7% of that. That's quite a bit of money. 10% of that is six, 650 rand. 7%, you're probably looking at about 470 rand, 480 rand that you would make off that without doing anything. Somebody just loves our products and orders them. And that's not just a one of the kind. There are several people. The average person spends about 1,200 rand online when they buy from us. That's the average person. But you don't, you just have to be buying for 500 rand a month or in total. Uh, you can either buy it in the shop if you came in the shop or you buy it online. If you buy 500 rand a month, you get 9% back on your own stuff. That's 45 rand you'll get back on your own stuff. And then you'll get 7% on people on your first level. And you will get 5% um, on their level and then 3% and then 1, 1, 1. I know Laura's here and she's going to get it up online. She's using it. I'm getting her to do it because I can show you and I can whiz around it. But I've been involved in the development of the program. I've been nagging for it for years. We've been testing it and using it for the last 10 years, I think. Um, and it works very well. But I've asked Laura to do it because she's very active with this program. She's getting a lot of people to buy online. Well, I mean, last month she had 10 people buy online and they spent 20,000 rand. So her check for that was 7% on that I would, was probably 1600. I'm not sure. Laura will tell you what it is, but she's going to show you. She's going to get the screenshot up and she's going to show you how it works. It's very simple. All you need when you sign somebody up is their telephone number, which is their member, becomes their member number. So when it asks you what your member number is, if you sign somebody up, you are a parent and you give them your cell phone number as your the number to sign up under so you never forget your member number because it's your cell phone number and nobody has that same number i think it's a brilliant concept um and then we need an email address so email address and cell phone number is all you need to sign up with and then if you're going to get paid money obviously you've got to give us your banking details some people just like to keep the credit there and they just keep it rolling over and they're just buying stuff for free um so that's a way you know if you're telling 10 people and they all spent 2000 rand and you got 1600 rand you can buy for 1600 rand or you can buy for 500 so you've got your 500 for next month and you can ask for the thousand rand cash if that's what you want to do we don't usually pay cash out until it gets to a thousand rand because otherwise we're paying out 20 rand here and 30 rand there and 200 rand and it just becomes very laborious and we'd have to increase the cost of things because of the admin so when your check gets your um, um, amount gets you can either leave it there and let it accumulate until it's a thousand and they'll pay you out or you can just add to whatever you buy and you'll basically you get you get that off your your sales so if you've earned 200 rand and you're spending 500 it's only going to cost you 300 rand right laura i'm going to say over to you and get that up for me please and laura is also okay. very motivated to say to do this so she um she really wants to help you manage the business and, and do it and do it properly. So go for it, Laura. Have you got your stuff ready? Yep, I do. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm not going to put my camera on today. I'm not having a good camera day. So I'm going to let you see my picture. <laughs> um, but I will share my screen with you in a moment. Um, I, you know, I started buying... Marianne's products um, in little bits, little bits. And Uta, I hear you about, you know, um, trying to fill your basket with the 500 rands worth of stuff. And so I started to see what were the things that we could replace. So for example, one month I would buy the washing powder because it works out more effective and more like more cost effective than the store-bought ones. So that would fill like a nice big chunk of that. And then I would just top it up with some things that I needed, like maybe almonds or um, some of the, like, I love the red lentils to cook with. So I just like fill it up and, and you'll be surprised how quickly you fill up that. Um, but I, I'll be honest with you. It, it only really becomes worth your while when you've got other people who are also going to be using it. And 
So Marianne has explained quite a bit, um, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you around the back end and then I'm going to share some tips with you as well. So let me just share my screen here quickly. Um, give me a moment. Oh, uh, Mary Ann, you need to enable me to share. It says host disabled screen sharing. So maybe while Mary Ann helps me trying to share the screen, um, I can, let me just see, I had a few things that I wanted to mention. Um, screen share screen, there we go. Is it open for Mary Ann? my screen. No, I want to screen, do mine. I want to, one participant can share at a time. That's it. You're there. Share screen. You can now share it. I think. No. I've got to un take mine down, and it says one participant can share at a time. Multiple participants can share simultaneously. So those are my two choices. So let me just put multiple and see what it does. Here we go. Thank you. Now? Yeah, that's great. Um. There we go. Let me just make sure I see the right screen. Okay. Can you see that? Yes, we can. Yeah. All right. Great. We can see that. All right. So this is the loyalty rewards uh, website. And if you go to it as frequently as I do, when you start typing in LRP, it pops up automatically. <laughs> I think I, I sometimes check it as often as I check my, my aim dashboard, but anyway. Um, all right. So on the home, on the home side of things, um, you've got here your, your space where you're going to log in up at the top here, your member, let me just move that out the way, your member login. There are a number of tools here that you can share with people. Um, obviously, it um, explains how the program works, what people need to do. Um, it is a good thing to read through the terms and conditions just to understand when it gets paid and, um, and how it all works. And just to familiarize this, yourself with this so that when people ask you, you can explain. So, Particularly these levels, um, understanding, you know, you get 9% back, somebody else gets seven and then five, three, one, one, one down. Um, and just have a read through that and familiarize yourself. But now this year, this join now, when, so what Marianne was saying earlier was when somebody wants to sign up, um, you can sign them up as well, or they can sign themselves up. The parent mobile is your number. So you're going to put your number in that block. And your friend that you're signing up, you'll put their mobile number in there with their name and their email and click join. And it's very easy. So what I did for the purpose of this evening was I created a, a test account just so that I can show you. I'm going to, I think I am, I think I am logged in. Let me log in here. Okay. So in your back end, this is where you'll see everybody who is signed up under you. So now I don't have anybody signed up on this test account, but when you expand it on your first level will be everybody that you have signed up. Then level two is everybody that they have signed up and then it goes on. And what's quite exciting is, you know, you sign people up on the first level and inevitably they're going to tell people. And it's really exciting when you come back, and you see, hang on, who are all these names and these people you don't know, but they're shopping and you're earning credit from it, which is really great. Your coupons are, are stored over here. Um, something important to know is that your coupons do expire. Um, so I think, I think it's valid for a year, Marianne, if I'm not mistaken. So to keep track and, and every coupon has a code. So for example, here, um, I've been granted a 20 Rand um, coupon. So that's the coupon code. So when you do your shopping on Mary Ann's site, um, uh, what you can do then is you can go and you can pick a coupon and you can insert it to deduct it off the total amount. So 
as Marianne said, last month I had a good month. So it was the 1,500 Rand, I think it was. So I could go and do my shopping for 1,500 Rand now if I want to put my coupon in and it's not going to cost me anything. Or I could choose to save it up for a big ticket item. Mary Ann, you must get some nice fancy equipment on your website again. Um, yes, and <laughs> we do have them available. We're just cleaning up the website and putting them back, like dehydrators and blenders and juicers and stuff like that. Nice. So you can order that kind of thing, yeah. So that's also something really, that's also something mm. really nice because, you know, you might not want to go and spend money on, an, on a dehydrator, but after a few months of your loyalty rewards, you can just add it up and claim something like that. So, you know, whether you're using it towards your shopping, you saving up for something, it's a really great idea. And over here, so on the left-hand side are all the people who, who've actually signed up, but it's not to say that they're actually buying at the moment. Over here, you'll be able to track who has actually spent in a month. So on your own sales, remember that if you don't spend your 500 Rand, you're not going to get the commission that anybody else has um, brought your way. So you need to place, just like on AIM, you need to place your qualifying points order to get your commission the same way here you need to be able to um, have purchased your 500 Rand. And then as you click through and as you expand it, you'll be able to see what the people on your first level have, um, have, have bought and so and so and down. I want to share a little trick with you. Um, so what you can do is go into the back end and go to this promote here. You pop your friend's name um, so, and you pop your friend's email address, uh, not sorry, not your friends, put your own, you can just write like test and then put your own email address in and send yourself the email that would go to your friend so that you can see what it's actually all about. Um, I, for the purpose of this evening, I've actually done that. I just want to quickly show you, I'm going to switch to the screen. Um, Mary Ann, can you see that screen or do I need to change? Can you see that? Has it changed to a, an email? No, it hasn't. It's still it's still the same as it was. I mean, it's okay. on the loyalty rewards program. I'm just going to change the. Yeah. I'm just going to change the screen. It, it normally makes you. You have to um, stop hearing. Okay. Can you see that now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So this is the email that I sent myself, as though I was sending it to a friend. So. Um, this is Mary Ann's email that would go to people and it's really great because it gives you all the info But the, the real thing that you want is if you scroll down here, you'll see it says to find out more follow the link This is your link. This is your referral link So you can provide this link If somebody says oh, I want to sign up for the loyalty rewards in, in, And they don't have um, maybe you're chatting online to them you can literally, or WhatsApp, and you can literally copy and paste this. And when they click on it, it will take them and it'll auto populate your number in there. So they don't have to know what you, they don't have to still go and put your details in. It'll automatically link it with you. So that's a nice little trick that you can try and learn. Um, then I'm going to just change screens again back to the little two rewards. Okay, in the tools. So this is, this is where you can actually have quite a bit of fun. And this is where you really see the power. So let's say you're spending 500 and you have, let's just, let's take out, let's just take, let's blank these out. So let's say you've got Sorry, five. You just have to take one out and it'll blank it. Oh, and is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's just say you've got five people on your first level and each of those people have five people on their level and there's an average spend of a thousand rand. Click that and you'll immediately see that your income is 1,600 rand just from that. Add one more level in and that pops to 5,000, just over 5,000. So... I mean, exponentially, <laughs> you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fully populate it back again to see if you have six levels down. That's 200,000 rand a month. <laughs> um, just for shopping and for encouraging people to shop. So one of the ways that I share this with people is I explain that 
when you go to clicks or pick and pay, you sw swipe your card and you get points or you get your clicks cashback vouchers, which is great. But if I go to um, Uta and I say, hey, Uta, do you belong, have you, have you heard about Clicks Club card? And she's like, no, no, tell me about it. And then she signs up for Clicks and she starts shopping at Clicks. I don't get anything by telling her Clicks scores and Uta scores, but Laura doesn't score. And the beauty of this is that you score when you tell somebody and they tell somebody. And I think, I think there's, there's something, um, there's something that people get to gain. So they could go and shop and they could go and buy some of the items they're buying at Marianne's store, they could potentially go and buy a pick and pay. It's not going to be the same quality. Well, let's just say they're going to go buy toilet paper or washing powder. Um, but they're not going to, they're not really going to score back. Um, and, and with buying at Mary Ann's, they're going to score back so many times over when they're telling people who are telling people. So I think particularly now people are, are quite loyal towards wanting to support small businesses. Um, and I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you're a small business, <laughs> Marianne, but I'm just saying. No, we're a, we're a pretty small look, business compared yeah. to pick and pay. I mean, we're exactly. tiny, we're not minute. Yeah. Even so, I mean, I think these are the kind of things that, that people are looking forward to. I mean, I know I way prefer buying my vegetables and fruit from the small guys that have started up little businesses over lockdown than going into a, a shop and buying it there. So these are the kind of things um, that you can look at. I wanted to share a few um, some of the uh, tools there, Laura. Pardon? Some of the other tools as well. Once you look at them. Yes. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, down here, same set. So when you um, when you go down the left here, there are a number of extra tools that you can use. So for example, um, the soap powder. I often see people talking about things on social media on groups. Um, and this is a great example of a way that you can show people, um, they're often saying, oh, how do I bring back my, how do I bring down my grocery budget or how do I, what soap do you use? This is a great one to show them. And I find the fact that you use less powder and it, it actually works out way more economical than the soap powders in the shop. So these are nice little um, facts that you can easily copy and paste into a chat with a friend or on a group that you might see somebody posting about. So um, the, the soap powder is one thing, even if people aren't gluten-free or vegan or anything like that, everybody uses soap powder. And in summertime, this is another tip, in summertime, people are using their gray water systems to water their gardens. So here's another way where you can say, look, this is biodegradable, environmentally friendly soap powder. So there's just like some nice quick facts over there. And then um, there are some, you know, just the quick steps on becoming an affiliate, how to, how to do it. Um, some more on how to be a natural way affiliate. So just some nice little tips that you can um, implement, read through. You could even just try and, and do one a day or one a week and try and see how you can incorporate that into your everyday life. Um, some nice uh, reasons or, or um, sorry, ways to develop your affiliate business. Again, you could try and say, okay, I want to create this into more than just, you know, I want to create an income or sideline business. Try and incorporate these into what you're doing every day. You're corresponding with people. You're chatting to people on WhatsApp. You are meeting with people. Um, this particular one here, number six, invite people for meals, breakfast, lunch, supper. This is quite a, a nice one. I've done this in the past where um, you order, so go online and order a whole bunch of stuff from Mary Ann's store. All the nice little, the nice little snackies, um, you know, the, the pineapple rings and the little carob bars and the peanut butter truffles, all those things. And then you invite a group of people around, you know, you could even charge them, you could even charge them like 50 rand a head and they're gonna come and have a whole feast with you. And at the end of the day, they've covered the price of the things and then they're all, all wanting to order or sign up. Or you might just say, look, I'm going to spend one of my vouchers and I'm going to buy these things and I'm going to put them out for my friends and I'm going to invite them over and I'm going to do a little food dem. So you could do something like that. Of course, if you are having a meal, and I know we're only now slowly starting to socialize with people again, but when you, when you are comfortable to do so, the next time you do have a get together or a braai or something like that, Instead of going and buying Lay's chips, 
I know we don't do that in our circles, <laughs> but um, you know, the people we're inviting are eating Lay's chips and all those things. And so you could rather get a whole bunch of things like this, put it out. And um, when people start asking you, where did you get this? Well, this is delicious. And then you can just very naturally share and say, oh, I buy them online and I get it at a, you know, I get, I actually get cash back for buying these. And, and so is a way you can share it. Um, this is the other thing that is another one is this approaching charities, churches, and schools. So my son was, uh, when he was in um, little nursery school, I know every term we had some or other fundraiser. So it was a raffle this month. And then next month, it's something else. And, you know, if, if, if you look at um, particularly the schools now, there are a lot of schools that have really struggled with um, not having a raise a salaries for their teachers during lockdown. If, if, if a little school had to say, right, parents, instead of having a fundraiser, all we're asking is you spend 500 rand of your grocery budget um, at this store. They, you know, the, the, the school becomes the parent and then all the parents, sorry, that's confusing. The school becomes the, the, um, the head person in the affiliate account. So I know we call it a parent when you, when you sign up. But then all the, the parents of the school then order under them, the school will automatically be getting 7% of all the parents' orders. And then those parents are telling um, more people. I mean, this could be a, a quite a big way of fundraising for the school. And if you are the one who's gone to the school and said, listen, I want to present this idea, you're going to be scoring off that as well. So with schools, with NGOs, and with churches, it's a really, really great idea. Marianne, I don't know. Um, one thing I was wondering is, let's say a little school, they, they said to the parents, you need to, you know, let's do this. Let's all commit to spending 500 Rand a month um, of what you're already spending on things at this store. And they timed their deliveries. I mean, they could possibly even get it all delivered together, right? Yeah, they, they totally could. And the, the other thing about it is just comparing it. I think of this My School card that we used Woolworths, you know, the Woolworths My School card. You can buy in a couple of other places. I mean, we've got like 50 parents, sets of parents at the school, and they use this My School card when they go, and we're always encouraging them to use it. And I think the most the school's ever got back from them is like 450 Rand, and that was once, and it's usually like 300. So I'd like you to just do this with the school. Just go up, just put, go to the calculator there, Laura. Oh, sorry. Just go to the calculator. Yeah. And okay. and do fifth. Just take out level two is five, so it doesn't calculate further down than that. Okay. And if fifty people each spend five hundred rand, so make the average spend there five hundred rand for the the under your spend. The average spend make it five hundred. Yeah. And then make that fifty on level one. Fifty parents are spending five hundred rand. Fifty. Okay, and then calculate. One thousand seven hundred ninety-five. Oh, so the school gets one thousand seven hundred ninety-five. Now I go to Woolworths, and we actually use the my school card at Woolworths for our business. If there, there's occasional things that we sometimes have to buy from from Woolworths, and we can spend you know, a thousand or two thousand rand on a specific thing if we need it and it's urgent. But if I think of what, you know, the average parent is spending at Woolworths, I'm sure it's way more than 500 rand and we're getting a measly 400, not even, on an average month, we're getting 300 odd rand. And that's what a school would get if every parent spent 500 rand buying toilet paper, liquid soap and soap powder for their homes, which they're buying anyway. It's not like they're buying something they don't need. They even buy their toilet paper. So it's an interesting, yeah, it's a very interesting thing. And, and if those 50 parents each told one person each, go down a level. So they each told one, and that means there'll be another 50 over there. No, 50, 50 told, no, not 50, 50 told one. Sorry, that's ridiculous Hi. amount. <laughs> one. Just calculate. There you go. One. Hold on, no, you've got all the other ones open at five. Oh, there we Take go, let's break. clear that out. There we go. So it's 3,045 rand if they each told one person. So if each parent got their pet, the grandparents to spend, you know, 500 rand a month on toilet paper, liquid soap, maybe some shampoo thrown in there or some natural deodorant. We've got the most amazing deodorant. It's just this cream, you just dab it under your arms and you don't have anybody odor at all. So just stuff that you would normally use. Yeah. 
I mean, it's just, and if they each told one, you have to take those fives out then. If the grandparents told their friends at the bowling club or something else, or a sister, take that out, yeah. Doesn't look like much, but it can be, and pe some people, very few people will tell one, they'll tell two, you know. And that's why we make it five, because I mean, even oh, if it's you, not going up on much there. Even if you go one and one, yeah. It's going up if each person tells one, but you had 50 telling one. But usually, it, you know, if you've got charities, for example, a charity can have 2,000 donors. And if instead of donating um, 100 rand, which a lot of donors would do, if you had 2,000 donors, each putting in a th 100 rand, which here they'd have to put in 500 rand. So 2,000 people, 100 rand, you're basically getting 20,000 rand. If I'm not mistaken, 20,000 rand. Just, just go there, Laura. Yeah. Just take 2,000 donors at a charity. They have lists of donors and people donate money. We're on the first level. For example, I donate to my old school, to their science center, and I give 250 rand. So just say, just say you've got 2,000 members. Just put 2,000 people in there. It only allows me 2,000, not 200. Oh, okay. It only allows me to put 200. Or I'll just put 500 there if you had 500. We could do 999. Okay, try that 999. Okay. There you go. It's 35,000. Whereas if every donor gave 100 rand and got nothing for it, here yeah, they're buying stuff that they need. 100 rand for the 2,000 people, as I said, that's 20,000 rand. That's all they get. Here yeah, they're getting 35,000 rand. But if those donors each told two people, Put two people in level two there. Oh, sorry, I've got this wrong. Two thousand people each putting in a hundred rand is two hundred thousand. We should start a stock fell like this. Could you imagine? Two thousand people each putting in a hundred rand. Yeah. It's two two hundred thousand. Yeah. And the <laughs> thing is that you you don't. <laughs> Uh, it's different, but at the end of the day, this is money they would get over and above if they were getting a hundred rand. But some yeah. charities are the donors are just falling away because they don't have an extra hundred rand. Yes, but they're so probably than, shopping for mainstream things. Yeah, so rather than so just yeah. rather than just donating a hundred rand a month or five hundred rand a month, you could be you buying the things that you already buying and already need, and then you're just helping. And, and you know people are getting something in that so yeah. it really is a no-brainer um the other yeah. way is obviously if you have now as a facilitator if you're going to be running your 100 days to health group um i can guarantee you that people are looking for healthier options and in marianne's recipes um there are numerous items that are now in her store so you encourage people the first thing they say oh, where can i get this where can i get that and you can encourage them to get it from Mary Ann's uh, store. So, you know, when, you, when you've got your group, you can actually just say, right, from the sign, you're all up for loyalty rewards and they're inevitably going to go and start shopping. And you'll be surprised at how much money people will spend. You know, some people will spend an, up to 3,000 Rand a month. I mean, you know, I've, I've seen it with my own eyes. And, and, and on the lower end, people spend six or 700 Rand a month. So, even if you have five or six active people doing that, um, it really does add up for you. Um, and then the other one that I wanted to mention was, oh yes, you're always hearing about people that have now, you know, they're realizing, oh, I need a gluten-free alternative or, um, so that's the one thing, they're looking for gluten-free alternatives. And especially now with the addition of the cakes that Marianne's introduced, the carrot cake and the cupcakes, uh, this is, a option because when people are looking you can go oh yes i know we can get gluten-free items and you can again point them to the store uh, and then the other one is um people that are plant-based or vegan and they're looking for items again another one and so if you're on any facebook groups common interest groups maybe um you know you, you're looking at um i don't know whatever stage of life in if you've got little kids and the moms are looking for healthier party options or healthy snacks for their kids at school 
Um, you know, the, there's, there's so many ways. You just need to look for the conversations that are happening. And then you just need to pop in and go, hey, I know, I know a great alternative. Um, message me and I'll give you the information. And then you share, your, you, you share the information and you share your link. The one little thing that people do get confused by is they might go and sign up here. But then when they go onto the store, onto Mary Ann's shop, they need to create another login. And that is a little bit confusing. So, um, you know, when they, when they click through to the shop and they want to fill their shopping cart, they're going to need to create, they're going to need to register here as well. So um, that does confuse people because they think which password, which username must I use my cell phone number. So, um, you know, it would be nice if there was a single sign on. So they just use the same, but there isn't. So you might just need to um, be aware of that and explain that to people if they do ask. That's a, that's a, that is a cheesecake you can order online. I know. I just saw it now and I'm getting so hungry. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Um, no, I think that's about it. If there are any questions, you can ask it. I know some people want to do the chrysalis training. We're doing a 30-day detox at 8 o'clock, so we can't go over. But if you've got a couple of questions you'd like to ask, <coughs> fire away. Let's have a look and see what's in the chat. Thank you, Miriam. Salt mixes and the vegetable stock's amazing. I don't buy frozen food at all. I go to Brian's from Market Weekly, get locally made shampoo and shower at Joel, and buy as much as possible organic and natural for the past 10 years. But I'm sure I will try out more as I go along. Is the vegan Bogoti gluten free? Yes, it's it's gluten free. The Nelly, I think she's actually gone. Uh, it's gluten free and it is plant based completely. We don't have gluten in any of our products at all, including our oats. Genuinely gluten free oats grown in Finland, where they grow it with very low gluten levels. Yep, that's it. So thank you, everybody. Um, no other questions here? Awesome. So we'll say goodbye. Nobody else is asking any questions. Thank you, Zita. Um, any questions you have in the meantime, you're always welcome to drop me an email at info at naturalway.co.za and then we'll go from there. I'm going to have to log out. I think we're all busy logging out. So thank you and goodbye. See you on the other side if you're going to join us. <laughs>